here's the demo of Soul Bossa Nova. So the first thing to get with this is the Bossa Nova groove. So I'll play it a couple bars around then I'll explain it. So you have to be super, super comfortable with this groove. If, if at any point you're not sure about it, it's not well practiced enough. You really need to know it well to play this piece. The hi-hats are always playing quavers, one and two and three and four and, and it's a two bar pattern. So let's just get the hands down. Cross stick, as you probably have noticed, on the snare drum. So the first bar, we've got a snare on one, the hand of two, and then four. So one and two and three and four and. So just practice the first bar around in a circle. And two and three and four and three and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and three and two and three and four and When you're happy with that, try the second bar round in a circle. The snare drum's on two and then the and after three. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. When you're happy with that, add them both together to get this might take quite a while to get, so just practice it really slowly and keep looking at the music and make sure the snare drum and the hi-hats match up. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Once you're comfortable with it, if you start to speed it up a little bit, you begin to sort of be able to feel the groove a little more. So what you should do at this stage is try and play it along with the track. You'll be able to play it. It fits in with all of the track. Um, it's a bit fast. So try and get it up to speed first. Once you get up to that speed, it feels more like three clicks and two clicks, which is basically what it is. So if you can play it to that speed with the track, then you'll be ready to put the bass drums in and be able to feel it. So the bass drum part is just always going to play one, one beat and then two groups together. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, two and three. So it just keeps that kind of heartbeat uh, going all the time. Now this is the most difficult section of the bossa nova is put them both together. What to notice is when the bass drums are together with a cross stick, which is on the first two beats, and that's all. Um, so just the bass drum and the cross stick sounds like this. One has a bass drum and cross stick at the same time, so does beat two, and every other time they're in between each other. So really slowly. So this will take a while to get together, just be really patient with it, look at the music and take it really slowly. If it helps, split it up again. So first bar. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. It's better to practice it with a space in between because we're going to loop every two bars, not every one bar. So if you get really good at looping the first bar, it becomes more difficult to add a second bar in. So the second bar is going to be two, three, four. Two, three, four. Put 
them both together again. And then try and build up the speed so you can play it with the track. When you get to know this a bit more, hi-hat should go on autopilot and so should bass drum and you really just have to follow the snare drums. That's an exaggeration of how fast you, you'll need to play it for this song, but it gives you that idea of the feel eh, of the rhythm. So the next element of this is adding an open hi-hat in which happens after the solo break section. So here the hi-hats come after beat one and after beat three. So the hi-hat pattern is going one and two and three and four and one and three and three and four and one. Let's separate it into just a foot pattern though. So if we do one, two and three, we're closing the hi-hats on two. The tricky part there is when we put the snare drum in and we have the hi-hats fit quite nicely amongst every click apart from the last one where it's one uh, snare drum then the closed hi-hat so uh, sorry so it's bass snare hi-hat one two three that can be quite challenging so it's worth just practicing Maybe move the hand onto a different surface, the right symbol's quite good. So get the foot pattern going. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three. Then try and add the snare drum in. Maybe just do the first bar and then leave the second bar blank, apart from what you're already playing right now. So it's gonna go. Then try the second bar, so the second bar. One, two, three, four, five. The snare drum comes right before the hi-hat. Switch it. Then the four. And then once you're comfortable with those, Take some time, try and add it all together in, still just playing the raid symbol. And pick up a little bit of speed. At this point, it's worth playing it along with the track again. So just always reference the track every time when you've got learned something new. Go back and see if you can play it with the track. Now all we have to do is move our right hand onto the hi hats, and we should get that open hi hat sound. Again, you might have to practice it one bar at a time, and you will have to practice it really slowly.
even take a little bit of time to get this just on its own. Just to make sure the hi-hat says the right thing and it will go. If you open your hi-hat too sharply, you won't get the open sound. You just miss it out, so. If you're not able to do it without the open hi-hat really comfortably at quite a high tempo, then there's no point trying to add in the hi-hat quite yet. Once you've got it at a really slow tempo, repeat and repeat and repeat until you can get it up to speed with the track. 